What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the M1 and M2 MacBook Air and 13 inch MacBook Pro since Apple only allows you to use one external monitor. So thanks so much for stopping by the channel. First of all, uh, I know my channel is relatively young. You may see I have a couple of shorts and this is my first long form piece of content. So bear with me as it's not going to be the best out there, but I am going to do my best to be informative and talk about the one device that allows you to have more than one monitor. So for those of you that don't know, myself included, I came from an Intel 13-inch MacBook. I got an M1 MacBook Air originally, and I had plugged in my dongles, and I tried to get my two monitors running behind me like I had before, and they just did not work. So after doing a little bit of research, even on Apple's page, I found that in the spec list, Apple does only support one external monitor with the M1 or M2 on these Airs and 13-inch Pro. In order to get this to work, you need to step into the M1 or M2 Max, or essentially spend more than $2,000 to get these computers. And I know you can get an M1, uh, M1 14 inch and 16 inch M1 for a little bit cheaper now, but on Apple's website, that's the starting price you need to pay is about 2000 bucks. So without further ado, the little device is called the pluggable dock. And that is plugged in right now behind me right here, which I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble and show you guys in a little more detail so you can see. So let's go ahead and get that done. How do these guys do it now? Mine didn't work. There it is. So this is the pluggable dock, and this one is the UD6950H. This has six USB 3.0 ports, which comes in handy for plugging in all sorts of things. I have my microphone, I have my webcam, I have my external SSD, I have my USB speakers, and then I have two open ports so I can either charge some of my peripherals, like my keyboard or my mouse, and then I have one additional free one so I can plug in whatever I want. So the two USBs are on the back. We have two displays here, so you can see display one and display two. So we have HDMI, display port, HDMI and display port. So whatever cables you have laying around the house, you'll be able to find a way to go ahead and support two external monitors. However, I will note that if you are using display port, it will support up to 5K. Also on the back, we have a LAN input as well as a DC plug-in since it's, this is an individually powered device. So it has no issue powering any of these USB peripherals. So what you'll need to do is download DisplayLink, and once this is installed on your MacBook, it will allow you to go ahead and recognize the two monitors on the device itself. So whether you have the M1 or the M2 in the Air or the 13-inch Pro, it's going to have no issue finding it. It's going to actually pull up in your settings. So if you go to Settings, Displays, you will actually see the two monitors you have alongside the MacBook display. So you can arrange them, you can set your prefer preferences for your resolution, and it's actually really, really nice. So this device here, I think this one costs about $169. However, they have some that are a little bit less, some that cost a little bit more, and you may be sacrificing the additional USBs. Uh, but at the same time, if you want more, you can spend more and you can have more support. But for something like this, it's only going to allow you to really do maybe two monitors at 4K before it gets a little toasty. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, so here we are in the settings. You can see we have LG HDR 4K, LG Ultra HD, and our built-in MacBook display. And what's really nice about this, as it gets picked up in the settings, is you can control and arrange your displays just as you would if it were built into the MacBook on its own, as well as controlling the resolution. So all we need to do is click the display, and we can go ahead and set our preferences. We can also choose color profiles, as well as refresh rate, depending on how many the monitor can support. And we can even include night shift, which is really nice, since these are all features that the MacBook has, and it's really nice when it carries over to the external displays. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. As we know, today is September 12th. Apple's gonna be releasing the new iPhone, potentially a new watch and maybe an M3 chip. Are they going to go ahead and support two monitors with that, that M3 chip? I guess we'll wait and find out. It's going to be about an hour or so. But if they do not, rest assured, you can go ahead and get yourself one of these docks that supports DisplayPort and still run dual monitors with a more budget device. If you guys like the video, let me know down in the comments below. I'll have this product link so you can go ahead and check it out, see which one's going to work best for you. And again, if you did like it, go ahead and subscribe because it's going to help me out and I hope to do a lot more of these. See you guys.